to solve some proportion word problems. The first one is, Sandy reduced the size of a rectangle to a height of four. What's the new width if it was originally 27 inches wide and 12 inches tall? Now over here, I have two rectangles representing the original large rectangle and then the small one. So you want to draw a picture to represent it. Now let's label what we know. Well, we know that we have a new rectangle that is four inches in height. So I'm gonna go over here and label my height four. And then down here, I know that the original width was 27 inches wide. Well, my width would be this way. So I'm gonna label that as 27, and then it was 12 inches tall. So I'm gonna label my height. 12. Now I can kind of see proportionally my height goes with my height and my width goes with my width and I don't know this one so I can call that x. Okay now I'm going to set up a proportion. I'm going to put my width on top and my height on the bottom. You could reverse these but you just need to be consistent. So let's go ahead and set up the width which is 27 over the height which is 12. So that's going to be my first proportion. I'm setting up for my first um, rectangle. And then 27 is my width, so I've got to set up the width again on top and my height on the bottom. Now I, from here, to solve a proportion, I just do cross products. I cross multiply. 12 times x is 12x, and 27 times four. Well, let's multiply that. 27 times four is 108. Okay, then to solve that, you divide both sides by 12. And so x is going to be 108 divided by 12, and that is 9. So that means the original or the new width is 9. Okay, and that would be in inches because that is a word problem. We need to put a unit measure with it. Okay, let's look at a second one. Okay, Janie bought eight oranges for $15. How many oranges can Laura buy if she has $6? So I've set up the proportion oranges over dollars. So what goes together? Well, 30 oranges cost $15. So let's set up 30 over 15 for oranges over dollars is equal to Laura want, only has $6. Well, where did the dollars go? The dollars go in the denominator. So I'll put the six down here, and my unknown is my x, because I don't know how many oranges. Look what the question is asking, how many oranges can I buy? So that's my unknown. And I can, again, do a cross product. 15 times x is 15x, and 30 times six is 180. And then I can divide both sides by 15, and so 180 divided by 15 is 12. So I, she can buy 12 oranges. And always put your unit measure. If you forget what your unit measure is, go back into the question and look what it's asking. How many oranges? So that's my unknown. And that means my unit measure will be oranges. Okay, here's one more. Juan took a trip to Mexico. Upon leaving, he decided to convert all his pesos back to dollars. How many dollars did he receive if he exchanged 110 pesos at a rate of 75 cents per 10 pesos? Okay, so let's try to set this up. We're gonna put pesos on top and dollars on the bottom. Well, what do we know? We know this proportion is true. So let's set up 0.75 or 75 cents is to 10 pesos. And what did he have? He had 110 pesos. Well, the pesos we've got set up on top, so I've got to put 110 up here, and I'm gonna put my unknown dollars, because remember, go back to the question, how many dollars? We don't know our dollars, so that's my x. Cross multiply, 10 times x is 10x, and 110 times 0.75 times 0.75, and that gives me 82.5 divided by 10 
divide by 10, and we know x must be 8.25, and that would be what? In dollars, because remember that was our unknown. Our x is on the bottom and x is dollars, so that's the value. Hope this video was helpful.